How to write a news story. Hey, do you want to write a news story? It could be for a school newspaper, a yearbook, or to appease an evil teacher that will squeeze your guts out if you don't cater to his or her every whim. Whatever the reason, here are a few tips to get you started. Step 1. Pick your topic. When writing a good story, remember to pick a topic that nobody really cares about. You could get the scoop on that idiot kid who got stuck in a porta potty, or maybe find out about that new phone book being released. Here's a great rule of thumb. If it sounds exciting, stay away. Remember to always have a great title that relates to your topic, like Porta Problems or Who the Hell is Going to Read This Crap? Step 2. Write a lead-in. Since only a small percentage of students are actually willing to read a story, you'll need to get the reader hooked right away. Here are a few ways to get you started. Try an interesting, exciting quote. Uh, said Dotty Brown Volleyball Captain. We kind of suck in volleyball. Remember to use the six W's. Who? What? Where? When? Why? And wha-how? On March 6th, journalism teacher Daisy Frankenstock ripped apart the heads of four students with her bare hands in the computer lab due to a mediocre story. How about an honest approach? You're reading the story? Oh my gosh, somebody's actually reading the story. Holy frickin' crap. Step 3. Write the rest of it. Remember, only a few kids read the lead-in. Only two students in the history of writing have actually finished a story. Knowing this, we don't have to waste any time writing the rest of the story. Simply write anything you want to fill up space. This is a very good example from a world-renowned journalist. Even though the story has no information at all, you can still waste class time by going out to do interviews with your friends, or reminding a teacher to turn in their damn survey by taping an anonymous note to his or her doorknob. Step 4. You're finished! Well, now that the story is completed, you can finally work on the rest of the page. This includes pictures, cutouts, and mods, which people actually care about. Just remember, nobody gives a crap.